When is the last time you turned to a children's book for wisdom and how to approach today's issues? Matthew Paul Turner joins me today not just to discuss his latest bestseller, but what any of us can learn at any age from its powerful message. Hey, MPT. Hello. How are you doing? I'm so proud of you. Oh, like, thanks, I, this man. is so I'm fun. I'm proud of you. The, yeah, we're just hanging out, right? Yeah, it just happens to be in a TV studio. It feels really comfortable. Well, I'm glad it feels comfortable. <laughs> well, I'm excited for you. Oh, thank you have you. another bestseller. Did you think that yeah. was going to be? I mean, you've got a lot of books to your name. I, well, you know, I I started writing children's books, I guess, five, five six years ago, yeah. and finally got a deal in 2017. My first book comes out, came out, and this is my fourth book. Fourth like, children's, fourth children's book. book. And right. so it's been a really fun experience so far. I've been really blessed to have these opportunities and to see, just be, to be so surprised where children's books go after someone buys them right. like that where where they get gifted where who you know how they where they show up in people's lives it's really kind of fun well now they bring that up what's one cool story because you do get i see messages all mm -hmm. the time get sent to you about i mean i had a lady write me who was in her early 60s mm -hmm. and she j had just found out she had cancer mm. and she was going through an experience where she didn't really want to talk to god mm. and she bought my first book when God made you yeah. and she read it every day during her chemotherapy wow. she didn't have kids she didn't have grandkids it was just her and 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 my book in her bed um, and she would say those words over her life wow. during that experience and I'm just like, like I didn't think <laughs> I didn't think about that kind of scenario sure. as I was writing like that, that book right. so I mean it's kind of interesting to see where it all how it all comes together. Well, I don't even know if I've shared this with you. I saw it at a funeral, and I said it was a friend of ours that had adopted, mm -hmm. um, and you know, it was a different culture, and mm -hmm. it was one of her daughter's favorite books. And so just wow. to see it there, um, it just reminded me, I mean, you've really championed a cause here. You've been so vocal about the need for more diversity, more inclusivity mm -hmm. in children's books in particular. How did that even become pressed upon your heart? Well. When I started writing children's books, mm -hmm. I, you know, I had traveled a lot. That's mm -hmm. one of the, th mm -hmm. the privileges that I've been able to do. I've traveled all over the world, and I had read so many statistics about children's books not showcasing or representing yeah. the diversity mm -hmm. that we see in our everyday lives. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of made that my thing. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to try to fix it all, but I want to use my platform and my you know opportunities to you know bring about the change that i'm able to yeah well so. you're doing it well i mean it debuted 17th and all of amazon books yeah no it, it did yeah no it's um it's doing really well. It's, and it's yeah, a beautiful I mean, retail. I mean, when God made the world is a, you know, it's kind of the classic Genesis story, but mm -hmm. with a really beautiful cadence, a unique twist. Tell yeah, us, no, I, I, tell I just, I love books that rhyme. Yeah. I like books that, <laughs> by, you know, at some point during. This is on your reading level is what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, and it's, it's also one of those things that you might be able to memorize parts of it when you've mm -hmm. read, you know, your fourth book by the time, you know, 8.30 comes around right. to your kids. You right. want it to kind of flow off your flow out of your mouth and love so it. and to be easy and so that's what I that's why I love that rhyming text and so it has um, I decided that I wanted to put in the whole diversity um, thing because yeah. that's a part of the beauty of creation and yeah. and then also just taking care of what God has given us and this planet being that you know one of those things and just being able to encourage kids at an early age to kind of take responsibility yeah. for what we use and to use it responsibly. Well, I think it's, like I said, it's a message beyond just our kids. It's a message that all of us need Absolutely. to hear. Yeah. Um, I, I know we have it. I don't have little ones anymore, but I love just the same thing, just pondering over some of those passages. They're really powerful. Where can people find the book? You can go to Target, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, um, or MatthewPaulTurner.com to find all the other places and so. Perfect. There's yeah. so much more I know we could talk about. It's a great story of perseverance. I mean, the story of you even publishing your first. I know. I got 11 no's, a right? 11 no's from publishers. And so publishers that I had worked with before. So this was a, a big thing. And so um, I'm really, really honored it's to incredible. get to do it. It's incredible. Well, thank you so. for sharing your gift with us and <laughs> no, for everyone. Like you said, When God Made the World is out now. Matthew, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm excited for the next Very one. Very grateful. <laughs>
<laughs> Before I go, I need you to know you are the one. That's right. You are the only one of you. You are made for this, for this time, for this place, for this purpose. God created you to be uniquely yourself, so stop comparing yourself to others. Stop looking behind at what could have been or looking around you at what could be. Be present in this moment and look up and ahead, asking God to pour all that he has and all that he is into you so you can be a vessel of hope and love for others. I want to thank all my guests for being here today to help us love ourselves and others well. Most of all, thanks to each of you who continue to walk this road with me. Have a great day. Make sure you make it great. And do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.